algo aquí con respecto a la registración para el voto. Cuéntame un poquito, brother. Queremos agradecerle a todo el público que está aquí, latino, porque se están registrando a votar. In Georgia is not the kind of place that people would typically think of uh, Latino political empowerment, and they are still a very uh, small part of the electorate, but they're growing, and I think Georgia points to the future, like, like a lot of places across the South, North Carolina is another one. Uh, Latino vote is growing, Latino power is increasing. We've seen it in California, we've seen it in Texas, uh, Colorado, Nevada. I think increasingly we're going to see it in places like Georgia. Estoy con la organización que se llama Galeo, Georgia Association of Latino Elector Officials. Estamos haciendo mucho trabajo importante peleando por los derechos de los inmigrantes. Nos gustaría saber quién de ustedes es ciudadano que pueda registrarse para votar. It's very joyous because when you see that you got another one, you know, it makes a difference. Like there's here's another Latino who's going to impact our community, who's going to vote for those who don't have an opportunity to vote. It's uh it feels awesome. Uh, ultimately, the party that figures out how to embrace and uh, reach out to effectively to the Latino, growing Latino electorate, will ultimately be uh, cementing uh, a loyal uh, constituency for, for years and years to come. I always looked forward to, to being able to vote. Um, when I was younger, in the fifth grade, I remember our teacher did like a little kids campaign, kids vote, where we like pretended we were voting for president um, back then with the, you know, the Gore versus Bush uh, election. And um, I always wanted to vote and I thought I could. I actually didn't know until I was 15 that I wasn't eligible to vote, right? So it was like, who am I? And what do you mean I'm undocumented, but I don't even speak Spanish, and I barely understand my mom when she wants me to go get something. Um, so it was, really, it was really traumatizing to be 15 and to realize that who you thought you were is, is not who you, you really are. I have now uh, the ability to put in my naturalization um, application, so I'm, I'm really excited that I'll be able to apply for citizenship and hopefully the next three to six months uh, be eligible to, to vote, be eligible to uh, run for city council, and, and do, do a lot of great things that citizens can do. If the continued trend of 2000 to 2010 continues from 2010 to 2020, that means by 2020, only 53% of this state will be white. The American dream is not only the North American dream. The American dream applies to Central America, South America, and I think that the vote of the Latinos make it happen, make the American dream happen as well.